connection has disrupted age-old hierarchies and dogmas. We have witnessed how internet and mobile telephony has converted the world into a global village in a very short time. Acknowledging this power of innovation, we welcome you to the fourth edition of the I Inspire Inclusive Leadership Conference 2016, brought to you by BizDivas. This learning extravaganza aims to be a confluence of ideas, a convergence of thoughts, and a celebration of the spirit of entrepreneurship. Through this episode, we bring to you some of the most dynamic industry leaders who showcase their innovative thoughts and share their success stories. The conference began early in the day with a band of dynamic women, industry experts, professionals, leaders, role models and future mentors signing up for the day-long event. This gathering of extraordinary individuals came together to learn, educate, connect and inspire each other. The event was flagged off with a welcome note by Ranjana Diopa, co-founder of Biz Divas Foundation. Welcome to the fourth annual series of I Inspire Annual Leadership Conference 2016. Our vision is to build a culture of inclusion by connecting, mentoring, developing, and empowering individuals of all identities. That's what we stand for. We stand for equal opportunity for all, be it men, women, culture, or generation, because we truly believe that diversity drives innovation. Being inclusive is the only way we can work towards a global economy. In the last four years, we have launched and published research report, path-breaking research reports on inclusion, talent retention, as well as women on boards. We have worked with more than 50 plus corporates, 10,000 plus individuals to deliberate on how we can make a more inclusive workplace. In fact, we believe at Busyvas that inclusion is no longer an option for organizations. It is a business imperative. Also, it is important for organizations to align their business goals with the society, the society ecosystem at large. With this in mind, we have launched our first Busyvas Impact Fund, which will strive to support education for children. I invite all of us today to ponder the future for our future generations. How can we stimulate innovation and how can we encourage inclusion in all walks of life? We look forward to your participation through the day and hope you have an exciting one ahead. Thank you so much. The first panel discussion of the day centered on the theme of inclusion inspires innovation where industry leaders discussed and deliberated on the importance of connecting different people to a single idea of inclusion, something which can lead to innovation in the workplace. Innovation is really all about doing things better, smarter, differently, uh, and finding a way uh, to create a completely different customer experience. Uh, if we look back on how innovations actually uh, worked for us, um, how many of us would have thought uh, we could get everything done through our mobile in an easy, simple way? Um, and that's all about innovation. And innovation doesn't happen if everybody thinks in the same way. Uh, different people, different walks of life, different needs, gender, race, um, experiences in different parts of the world, all of that is what really drives um, innovation. One of the things is uh, innovation as a company itself. You know, uh, we were the first startup uh, in the ecosystem way back in 1994. At that time, internet was not there. We were hosted on MIT server. So when we launched our services, we were very clear from day one that one, we will propagate equal opportunity employment. And number two, we will not have any gender discrimination while we are hiring or companies are hiring talent. So I think uh, right from that day till date, we have always supported inclusion. We have always worked against gender discrimination. We have always supported equal opportunity, employment and employability across the board. You know, I, I would take the theme in two phases. Number one, first and foremost, is about inclusion. Inclusion is about thinking differently. Inclusion is about bringing and embodying the best of everyone. Innovation, on the other hand, and complementary, is to talk about how do we do things differently that we hadn't thought about before. So combining those two 
inclusion, inspiring innovation, is a double whammy, is a double additive, and it's really the power of what we could do. So all about and all in about inclusion, and most importantly, all in about innovations. And when you combine them together, we bring the best to the world. Taking forward the theme of the conference, Inclusion Inspires Innovation, Vineet Nair, founder Sampark Foundation and former CEO HCL Technologies, unveiled the secret of high-performance individuals and what inspires them to do things which others fail to even attempt. Inclusion, innovation, inspiration and I are, I believe, one of the biggest words which everybody needs to think about. If you look at high-performance individuals, how do they become high-performance? They become high-performance by attempting to do what others consider impossible. So if you are not spending a significant amount of time trying to do the impossible, there is no way you will do the impossible and there is no way you will be high-performance. Now, you need to be inspired not just motivated to attempt the impossible and therefore the inspiration within you, not inspiration outside you, is the most important factor about high performance. Now, the question is what is impossible? The definition of impossible is impossible as that which is thinking outside the boundaries of logic and reason. A magician does his magic and you call it impossible because it is outside your boundaries of logic and reason. So therefore, if you leverage innovation, which is thinks, thinking outside the boundaries of logic and reason, then you have a probability of achieving the impossible. So that is how innovation comes in and inspiration comes in. Now, if you want to attempt all this, then the question is that what would it take for you to do think outside the boundaries of logic and reason? And that is where the inclusion and in I really comes in. Diversity in thought, diversity in thinking, having alternate points of view on the table, for you internally to take a decision which is outside the boundaries of logic and reason is the only way you can become an impossible leader, a high performance leader. And therefore, I have always believed that the difference between an ordinary and an extraordinary is that word extra. And you have to find that word extra within you. You should not wait for others to solve your problems. You should not wait for to be included. The battle is tough out there. You have to take your own chances. And therefore, if you inspire yourself and not others, if you include yourself in a dialogue of chances which you believe are not yours to take, unless you take those chances, unless you are innovative in thinking outside the boundaries and logic and reason, how can you expect to be high performance? And therefore, if you really want to be extraordinary, start investing in yourself, start, start finding that extra win in you, and the impossible will happen for you. Time for a short breather, but do stay tuned as we bring you all the action from the I Inspire Inclusive Leadership Conference 2016. Well, after some inspiring thoughts from industry veterans, next is a debate which aimed at busting the myths surrounding the race between Gen X and Gen Y. Who is ahead of whom in the corporate ladder? This debate of experience over expertise finds many supporters from both ends. I think I unfortunately did a lot of the Gen Y injustice today because I actually think there's a balance and I don't believe there really can be a very fine line between topics between Gen Y and Gen X. I think they work very hand in hand and that's really the way I believe society will progress is if we find the balance between ex experience and expertise from both Gen X and Y. So I don't have a very black or white view on the topic. So Gen Y is going to outnumber Gen X. What we're seeing is Gen Y is also coming into positions of leadership. They're also becoming, uh, you know, they're also part of families where there's dual career incomes. I think it's changing the face of the workforce and the whole phase of disruption that companies want and to be innovative and to be, uh, to be relevant. We can't do it without Gen Y. I think uh, 
there's no conflict actually. I mean, we did a great debate and I think it was interesting. The audience loved it. But according to me, debates kind of general, you know, generate polarized view. Right? And we need to look at the synthesis. So uh, what I personally believe that one group is the creator and the other group is the nurturer. As the day progressed, the focus of the conference shifted to interactive breakaway sessions. One of the important discussions was on the theme called Future of Work, where each panelist presented their views on how future of work would look like in the coming times. I think in my mind, uh, future of work is something that we all need to just prepare for and get ready for, largely because uh, the talent that we want to attract in today is a talent that is very clear on its choices. and. Uh, compared to when we passed out of school, uh, the dependence of the organization to get my professional identity has become pretty much zero. So today's talent can pretty much uh, bring their skills and passion to the fore and uh, therefore workplaces become irrelevant. A branded organization to work for becomes irrelevant and uh, the future of work is about how I can bring my passion to work and live my passion and how can we really leverage whether it's technology, whether it's the passion of people and different work styles to come together to create the objective that an organization may be wanting to achieve. This was followed by some extraordinary tales from dynamic personalities who took charge of their own destiny to become drivers of innovation and growth. Not so my mother. A guy went down on one knee in front of my mother and said, Indra auntie, I'd like to marry Vasu. My mother was like, why beta? From stand-up comedy to a high-powered panel discussion on the rising phenomenon of women power in the workforce, these sessions have it all. I think the main concept which we discussed is that given the sociocultural environment which we have in India, how do women lead in innovation and how do women lead in terms of occupying leadership position, having a seat at the table and driving a lot of decision making in different companies, both large and small. And one of the themes which came up in a very big way is the different ways in which women are asserting themselves or finding a place in leadership position, both in the traditional sectors as well as in the new economy sectors, particularly in tech, where the barriers seem to be lesser in terms of whether it is access to capital or uh, starting an enterprise or just plain entrepreneurship development. So we talked across a whole range of those issues. So I think, uh, you know, in our demographics, 50% of our population are women. So if you ignore women in any dimension of your life, you are ignoring 50% of the population. So clearly, uh, women have to be there, whether it's on the home front, whether it's in the corporate world, whether it's in politics, whether it's in anything. So my, uh, and without that, you don't get that uh, different perspective, the ideas which cater to uh, the other 50% of the world. 10 years ago, you would not see too many women innovators in the global uh, economy. Fast forward another 10 years later, you'll possibly see women and men having equal opportunity and having an equal say in the way the economy is progressing, the way the innovation is making sure that we are truly becoming a global village. And this has been made possible by the kind of a uh, mindset change people have gone through the kind of conversations we are having, especially in a conference like I Inspire, this kind of support which uh, both men and women are doing or giving to each other, as well as women taking charge of their own destiny. A lot of technology advances like cloud computing, working at their flexi uh, timings, um, flexi work hours, the HR policies like a maternity policy, all these has also helped women to really, really take charge as the next a generation which will actually be pioneering innovation in the global village. It's time for another short break, but on the other side, we get you the I Inspire Leadership Awards 2016. Stay tuned to ET Now. Welcome back to our Inspire Inclusive Leadership Conference 2016, brought to you by Biz Divas only on ET Now. She is a woman of substance, a politician and a social entrepreneur. Meera Sanyal shares with us three golden rules of how to empower women 
at the workplace. I think there are three things which I call the golden rules. First is help other women, give them a step up, promote them, praise them. The second is network. This comes naturally to men. Men are great networkers. But we as women, we tend to say we have other things to do. There's the home, there's the family, there's children, there's housework. We tend to prioritize other things. But it is important to invest in your networks. Meet other women, meet other men, meet other professionals, and create that ecosystem because there will always come the time when you need a little bit of guidance, you need a bit of advice. And if you can turn to someone else who has been through that before, then it's a great thing. The third is invest in yourself. I think we don't do that. But learning is a constant process. There's so much happening in the world and there are so many tools available. We all need to reinvent ourselves. I was a banker. Now I'm a politician in public life. I was very passionate about issues of women's empowerment and about banking and finance. Now I'm equally passionate about urban planning and education. And there are so many resources on the net. I undertake courses which are online courses with edX, with massive online open courses. It's a lifelong process. You learn and you grow as a person. The Best Divas I Inspire Awards recognize and honor leaders from across the length and breadth of the country who are working towards providing an equal opportunity for all by creating an inclusive ecosystem. Let's take a look at who are the winners of the I Inspire Leadership Awards 2016. We now come to a very special part, the I Inspire Leadership Awards ceremony. Our first award is the Women's Rights Award. This award has been sponsored by Tanish and we are very thankful to them. I'm really happy to announce the winner of the Women's Rights Award, the Kant Brothers, founder of Shakti Vahini or the Justice Brigade. I'd also like to invite Ms. Meera Sanyal as well as a representative from Tanish, Sanjay Kumar, please. I think this is a welcome step in India because uh, initiatives like this uh, do exist in the West but uh, in India there is no such initiatives and I think they are doing a great job by bringing in people together and also taking up causes also. Our next award is the I Inspire Social Innovation Award. We are very thankful to Barclays for sponsoring this award. The winner of this award is Ms. Supreet Singh, Director Safe City. I would also like to invite Mr. Tapan Goyal from Barclays to please give away with the award. The next award is the Young Train Blazer Award. The sponsor for this award is Ernst and & Young. And the winner is Anushila Saha. I'd also like to request Ms. Marjorie Matthew from Ernst & Young to please hand over the award. I think uh, this is like a huge, uh, huge impetus for me. It's huge encouragement at such a platform and uh, I didn't expect it. It just came out of the blue, uh, you know, and uh, it's, it's great that people uh, recognize such an effort because it started as a really small uh, pilot project and an experiment and it's, it's great to see how it's taking shape and, you know, going places. Our next award is the Community Excellence Award. We'd like to thank our sponsor, SAP SAP, for sponsoring this award. The winner of this award is the Hamsafar Trust. Please join me in a round of applause for Mr. Pallav and Ms. Soumya Gupta. 
I would like to invite Ms. Zarina Stanford Lamb of SAP to kindly come and give the award. We present the Inclusive Leadership Award. We'd like to thank the sponsor of this award, Capgemini. Winner of this award is Lemon Trees Hotel Group. A big round of applause for Mr. Ratan Keswani. I'd like to invite Ms. Darshana Okale to please give away this award on behalf of Capgemini. Our next and last award is the Employee Network Excellence Award. The sponsor for this award is our own Biz Divas Foundation. Winner of this award, the Wahini Employee Network at Accenture Services. I'd like to invite the representative from Accenture, Tanya, please come on stage, a round of applause. And Sarika, to please come up and give the award. This award is sponsored by Biz Divas Foundation. I Inspire started in 2013. This is the fourth annual edition which we are doing. And every year on year, we picked up a theme. And this year, we start talking about I Inspire Innovation. That is because I think we are sitting in such a stage um, where without innovation, none of these conversations would be possible. And I truly believe, at Bisdeva's Foundation, we truly believe that inclusion inspires innovation. The more inclusive, the more diverse the organizations are, the more inclusive your teams are, more people will collaborate and you will find people coming from different perspectives, having different conversations, and that is what will give rise to innovation. And that is where the theme started with the inclusion inspires innovation. We heard so many great people, including both men and women, and again, from different generations, different culture, as well as we'll have people from LGBT community all coming together and showcasing how when we come together, a truly collaboration, a true collaboration can take place. Ladies and gentlemen, may I request for a big round of applause for you guys and for the Busyvas team here. We hope you enjoyed your evening and the entire day. We really look forward to hosting you in next I Inspire 2017. Thank you so much. wrap on this special edition of the I Inspire Inclusive Leadership Conference 2016. Hope you liked our coverage. Keep watching ET Now.